Social security disability for children. Special education and support services. Children with disabilities may be eligible for social security disability benefits if they meet the SSA's definition of disability. These benefits are often based on the work record of the child's parents. Additionally, beyond social security disability benefits, children with disabilities may also qualify for special education and support services through their local school district, which can play a crucial role in helping them learn and succeed in school. To begin, let's explore the eligibility criteria for social security disability benefits for children. The Social Security Administration, SSA, defines a child as disabled if they have a medical condition, physical or mental, that severely limits their daily activities and is expected to last for at least one year or result in death. In some cases, the child's parents' income and resources may be taken into account when determining eligibility. These benefits are aimed at providing financial assistance to families who have a child with a disability. On the educational front, it's essential for parents of children with disabilities to reach out to their local school district. Special education and support services are tailored to meet the unique needs of children with disabilities, including conditions like autism, learning disorders, or physical disabilities. These services may include individualized education plans, IEPs, speech therapy, occupational therapy, or assistive technology. Access to such support can significantly enhance a child's educational experience and help them progress academically and socially. It's important to note that the eligibility criteria for social security disability benefits differ from those for special education services. While the former are primarily income-based and focused on the child's medical condition, the latter are educationally oriented and aim to create an inclusive environment for children with disabilities to thrive in school. Therefore, it's crucial for parents to navigate both systems to ensure their child receives the necessary financial and educational support. Chronic pain and disability benefits. Proving your case to social security, Chronic pain can be a debilitating condition that significantly impacts an individual's ability to work and maintain a productive life. Proving chronic pain disability to Social Security requires thorough documentation and expert testimony to substantiate the extent of the pain and its limitations on one's ability to work. To successfully establish a claim for disability benefits due to chronic pain, you must provide comprehensive medical evidence that illustrates the nature and severity of your pain. This includes medical records, diagnostic imaging, and treatment histories. The documentation should clearly demonstrate that your chronic pain condition is expected to persist for at least one year or result in death, as per the SXA's definition of disability. In addition to medical records, obtaining a statement from your treating physician or healthcare provider is crucial. This statement should detail your chronic pain's impact on your daily activities and your capacity to perform work-related tasks. It's imperative that the statement is specific and provides a clear picture of the limitations chronic pain imposes on your life. Moreover, seeking the opinion of a vocational expert can be advantageous. A vocational expert is experienced in evaluating a person's ability to work given their medical conditions and limitations. Their expert opinion can serve as a valuable resource when presenting your case to Social Security. However, if you encounter difficulties in proving your case to Social Security, it's wise to seek legal assistance. A disability lawyer specializes in navigating the complex process of applying for disability benefits. They can help you gather the necessary evidence, ensure your case is presented persuasively, and represent your interests throughout the process. They understand the intricacies of social security law and can guide you through the appeals process if your initial application is denied. In summary, proving your chronic pain disability to social security requires a well-documented case, expert medical opinions, and if necessary, legal assistance. By presenting a strong case, you increase your chances of receiving the disability benefits you need to support yourself and your family during challenging times.